Seth Brown, Harrison, Junior. Poor Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I just want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. Yeah. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, man. And this one here is on the face of boxing, Earl the True Spence, the unified welterweight champion, the number one fighter at welterweight, and a fighter to put boxing on his back and carry it into the next era. Now, this video is on Earl Spence, everybody, and this Earl Spence road to an ATG and becoming a Hall of Famer, right? We all know it's fights out there for Earl Spence to fight that we all want to see. And we heard to break it down for you, man, to show, you know, the, the role Earl Spence should take and, and the fights that's going to give him all the credibility in the world for him to, re, to be remembered as an all-time great in the sport of boxing because he had a skill set and a mind frame to do so. You understand what I'm saying? We have left the Floyd Mayweather era and we have entered the Earl the True Spence era right some of the best skills you'll ever see in your life dude is a go-getter he hungry he a grinder you know he's fighting nothing but the best out there whether people want to accept it or not and it's to be respected it's to be respected you understand me a lot of people hate to hear the name earl spence jr but you better get used to it and now first turns bud crawford 147 pounds this is the fight for earl spence right now this is the fight that we all want to see right we all know what's going on right now, so there's no need to get into it. But Terrence Bud Crawford, one hell of a fighter, you know, three-time division, uh, former undisputed and the current WO fighter um, at welterweight. Him and Earl Spence was to, um, if the fight get made um, this year or next, right, it'll be for undisputed. It'll be for undisputed. That's history in itself, right, against a bad motherfucker like Bud who can fight his ass off. Terrence Bud can fight his ass off, no doubt about it. And he's a hungry lion. He's a hungry killer, right? And it's a tough fight for Earl Spence. Tough fight for Earl Spence. But I do see Earl Spence winning this fight. I do see him winning this fight, right? Second fight, everybody might think this fight would never come to fruition because they're friends. But nonetheless, if Earl Spence move up to 154 and the Jamel Charlo is the unified champion, then it's going to be talks. But this is the road. Jamel Charlo. Earl Spence Jr. go up there 154. Take on the stable mate in Jamel Charlo, another bad motherfucker, somebody that can be undisputed, um, arguably in this next fight. If if him and um the fight happened with Brian Castano, we all know just became the, the new WBO champ, right? So if Earl Spence go up and face Jamel Charlo and defeat Jamel Charlo, arguably become undisputed in two different weight classes, that'd be history in the making. That'd be some bad shit, and that'd be one hell of a fight that we all will enjoy as well. Tough, gritty fight. But that's a bad motherfucker. Then you go up to 160. You take on Demetrius Andrade. We all know Demetrius Andrade, man. Listen, he haven't got his big marquee fight yet. But to me, Demetrius Andrade had the most. Some, I mean, he has some of the best skills in boxing, and I believe he have skills to beat anybody from 54 to 68. You know what I mean? Anybody from 54 to 68. That's how skilled for Demetrius Andrade he is. He is one hell of a fighter. You know, he don't get the respect he deserved because he haven't been in their marquee fights. A lot of people feel like he, he blew a few fights that he should have been in that was big time, you know, and, and it didn't come to fruition. But nonetheless, you can't take away the skill set from this dude. He's a um, highly decorated amateur. Everybody know about Demetrius Andrade, right? So if Earl Spence move up to 160, take on Demetrius Andrade, who was a bad motherfucker as well, you know what I mean? That'd be some big dog shit. Big dog shit, especially if you're holding on to a world title. Now you become a world champion at 160 pounds. Now you're two-time undisputed, and now you're a world champion at 160 pounds, facing Demetrius Andrade, who is very credible, that a lot of people think can beat the Charlos. You understand me? A lot of people think he can beat Canelo Alvarez as well. And then the big-time fight. Canelo Alvarez coming down from 168 to 160 to face Earl Spence Jr. in the fight of the era. Understand when I say the fight of the era. Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, they fought for the um, fighter of their era, and Floyd came out on top. Canelo and Earl Spence, to me, to me, are two of the biggest names in boxing, but might be the two biggest names in boxing, right? And if, if Earl career go as I said it will, and if Canelo continue doing what he's doing is, and stay undefeated, and he come down to 160 to face Earl Spence in a mega superstar fight, 
and Earl Spence defeat Canelo Alvarez, it's nothing else to say about Earl Spence Jr., but the man is an all-time great. He's a Hall of Fame fighter. He fought nothing but the best of the best, and he took out the best fighters in his era, right? He took out the best fighters in his era. Now, credit, along those weight classes, you want to have fights in between those big fights to help you even grow your, your, your resume and your legacy more. But those are the big names, the big marquee fights that I feel like Earl Spence should take on. And if he beat those guys, then there's nothing nobody can say. Nothing nobody can say, right? Undisputed at 147. Undisputed at 154 pounds. Unified champion at 160 pounds. And on top of that, you still be some of the other marquee names at those weight divisions that nobody can question. Nobody. And I do see Earl Spence beating all these dudes. Right? Terrence Bud Crawford, one hell of a fight. Bud is a switch hitter. We know how he get down. Right? I think that'd be a gritty, gritty fight. I think it'd be close, you know, in the first six to seven rounds. But as the fight goes on, I think Earl Spence gets stronger. I think his grit and his dog start grinding it out on Terrence Bud Crawford. And I see Earl Spence winning that fight, you know, on the scorecards. Right? Jamil Charlo, strong, stable mate. They know each other. I think Earl Spence is more mentally tougher than Jamil Charlo. Again, I think this fight be um, close early on, right, early on. But as the fight goes on, Earl Spence gets stronger, and I think he pull it out on Jamel Charlo, possibly drop Mel Charlo, right, possibly drop him, just my opinion, and, 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 and get the W on Jamel Charlo. Then with Demetrius Andrade, you know what I mean? A tough chess match, tough match chess match. Demetrius Andrade is going to try to box Earl Spence, use his length, his range, try to keep him at the end of the jab, catch him coming in, right? But I think Earl Spence's pace and his body work, and I think he's landing more cleaner and effective shots. Earl will land a more cleaner and effective shots on Demetrius Andrade to where they are going to be telling, right? It's going to be tough. Don't get me wrong. He's not just going to go on there and, 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 and walk down Andrade, but he will start cutting the ring. He will start getting to the body, sitting him down. And once they start fighting, I think Earl Spence start getting the best of Demetrius Andrade. I really do. He start getting the best of him, and I see Earl winning this fight on the scorecards, right? With Canelo Alvarez, a dangerous fight, dangerous, strong fight, right? Look out for Canelo Alvarez counterattacks. He's going to try to come forward and, and, and get to the body with strong, hard shots. But I think Earl Spence jab and his, his continuous um, work at the body, right? Canelo throw hard to the body, and he could work the body, but not like Earl Spence. Earl Spence worked the body like he worked his jab. He never forget to use it. He never forget to use it. And his jab, the way he vary it up from one to two to three, how he mix it up, and how he can shoot that surplex um, shot to the stomach, we know Canelo don't like it downstairs. He don't like it downstairs. You understand what I'm saying? That's another tough, close fight. But I do think Earl Spence pulls it out on Canelo Alvarez to become the fighter of the fucking era. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, Canelo is slick. He is skillful. But I don't think he's more skillful than Earl Spence Jr., just like Earl Morales said. I repeat, just like Earl Morales said, right? Earl has showed us some things that he haven't used on a few fighters because they haven't brought it out of him. But with the Canelo fight, I think he bring the best out of Earl. I think all these guys bring the best out of Earl Spence. I think he get better and better and better and better. You understand me? But Earl a true Spence. This is his road to an ATG. This is his road to the Hall of Fame. Right? A lot of people going to look at this list. Hey, man, you crazy. You crazy. You know, I got people already talking about, oh, man, he can only beat Cholo. He can't beat Bud, Andrade, or Canelo. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. You know what I'm saying? Ha, ha, ha. Laugh in your face. You feel me? This is what I think. You understand me? You think how you think. This is what I think. And this is one hell of a lineup. This is four great fucking fighters in my opinion. Right? I think Andrade would get a big marquee fight and show his skill set. He's the only one have yet to really get a big marquee fight. We know Turnsville Crawford is looking for a big marquee fight at 147. Yes, he's a Hall of Fame fighter, but he's still looking for his big marquee fight. Canelo have been in marquee fights. Jamel Charlo has been in marquee fights. Earl Spence has been in marquee fights. So they do have experience in that ring. They do have experience. And a lot of people sleep on Earl Spence's skill set. But like I say, once he fight these caliber fighters, it will show. It will show. You understand me? Like I say, none of these fights are easy. They're not supposed to be easy. That's why it's, it's the road to an ATG, an all-time great. You're not just fighting on anybody. You're fighting the best of the best. The best of the best. And you're going out there, you're winning, 
You're doing it in an impressive fashion. You're giving the people what they want to see. Right? And nobody can deny it. Nobody can deny it. Nobody can deny if Earl Spence Jr. beat Terrence Bud Crawford, Jamel Cholo, Demetrius Andrade, and Canelo Alvarez that he's not an all-time great and he's not a great fucking Hall of Fame fighter, becoming undisputed in two divisions, um, unified in one. Right? Tell me that's not a bad motherfucker for you. Tell me that's not a bad motherfucker for you. You understand me? Earl Spence Jr., y'all, is a bad motherfucker. Hands down like 630. No denying it. Just respect the grind. Respect the killer. Right? A lot of people going to say, well, the Jamil Cholo fight might not never happen. It might not never happen. They are brothers. They are sparring mates. But anything can happen when it's enough money on the line. And if them belts are there and Cholo do not vacate, then it's going to be a problem. I repeat, if the belts are there and Cholo do not vacate, then it's going to be a problem. But we'll see how it play out. This is my road for Earl Spence to becoming an all-time great and a Hall of Fame fighter. Let's just see how to, how his legacy play out for him. But I do believe he will fight, or it could be three out of four. Three out of four, in my opinion. But we'll just see. Tell me what y'all think about this list. Do y'all think Earl Spence can beat these fighters? Do y'all think if he do beat these fighters, he's an ATG and a Hall of Fame fighter? If not, let me know, man. Let me know. But keep it respectful. Until then, this your boy Money. This is the NSBC moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Money on Cash App. TreyHampton52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If you can't, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the video. Y'all know how your boy get down, man.